I guess uh, I I I as as a as a foreign mm -hmm. um hi as as a foreign learner I need this rigidness mm -hmm. in order to make it completely understandable. Otherwise, the native are just basically instinctive. Mm -hmm. Like they know it's correct because they instinctive yeah. use they instinctively use the language. Yeah. And just a lot of times if you look Hi. at like so points this... of things, you'll see like use one, use two, use three. Because even in their native language, you're unable to just make a rule that fits in one sentence. Because everything has certain ways it's I... used to have express different pieces of information so you can't really just take one particle and say that is the only thing that this particle means like with mole meaning also mole can also have a different meaning which is um adding stress to something to mean like even like temel for example is theoretically the same also no mm -hmm. but it's expressing evenness hi 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 thank you so back to this mole. Um, he say, "Ore mo suite ita, suite ita." So, um, this ita is from iku. Suite is from like su 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 su. I follow. So I went along. Yep, I went along with him as well. So in mm -hmm. other words, I'm also well. going down the hill. You know why Ita? I'm also going here? down the hill. Why this Iku is here? Because we are technically going away from the original position, right? Perfect. We're leaving the yep. spot that we were. New scene. Washi wa neburi o neburi omae no. Omae no na wa, I neburi. Your name? Yep. Uh, your name I is? Am. Yep. And your name? Your name? And your name? Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Now we're back to where we left off last time in chapter 12. I mean, slide 12 with zehi. Do you happen to know what zehi means? Zehi. Definitely join yep. my club. Zehi. Zehi. Can you read this for me? Hey, Zehi, chikara ni naritai. Hey. Definitely. I want to be, to be, to nari. I want to nari. Hey, so this is from Naru. Then we have tai. So itai. Hey. And tai what? Tai de chikara ni. To be. Arrive at the power place, the chikara. Hmm, do you know what naru means? Naru is to become. Hi, so it's not to arrive, it's to become. So I definitely want to become power. To become power. A lot of times it's used power. to become power for you, become your power, is how that tends to be used in Japanese. So we don't really say that in English. I want to become your power, but this would used to be, I want to be help for you. I want to help. get you... I want, I want to, to be, be useful. Your power. Exactly. That's how that's used. I want to I want to be that uh, that phrase they that nobody used. Ta ta uh, Yakuni the, tachinai. The, yakuni tachitai. Yaku Yakuni tatsu to stand to stand in duty. So so to be useful. Hi. Um sanjiru. Hi. Uh next is zonjiru, zo which is um to know basically what it is and uh, without the goal so go zonjiru is polite zonjiru is the opposite uh it's how you talk to yourself so can you read this for me ochikara ni naritaku zonjimasu hi so this basically means so this... ochikara makes it obvious we're talking about your power here because the power gets o hi. for it and nobody's not going to use o for himself and the zonjiru is basically like, I think in this context. So I want to become your power. It's like, I think I wish to become your power, kind of like my opinion, basically. What the zonjiru is saying. I wish to become power for mm. you. So like, this is it. such a funny, It I this is me hypothesizing again. Uh, this is a funny thing that Taku is doing here. Um, 
if it doesn't continue, if if it doesn't attach attach itself to another verb, it simply is tai. So suppose there was no zanjimas, it would simply be uchikara ni nari tai. I want to be or I desire to be your power. So be helpful. But here it it, it the the clause here attaches to another verb, so I, this e drop and it become a cook. In a I, way, it it go it goes back from being an an adjective back I, to a verb. Well, ku is actually it's an good. adverb. Theoretically, if that's as an adverb, hi to modify yeah. this verb. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Absolutely. it loses its it adjective loses the ability to modify noun. You take a verb, turn it into okay. an adjective, then turn it into a verb. A lot of math going on there. <laughs> yeah, but but my my question here is: Can this taku ever mod modify a noun? Have you ever seen it? Well, it can't because ku means it's modifying an adjective or a verb. That's the grammatical Hi. for our part. So e means modifying noun, basically. E means modifying e. noun. E is like e adjective. Basically. Hi. So yeah, that that that's where that Ex comes from. That makes sense. So as soon as it turned its cool, it's it yep. flip. It flip. It say I am going to modify other adjectives or I'm going to modify nouns now. Exactly. I'm, a, I'm abandoning. Yeah. I'm abandoning the the allegiance to hi, hi, hi. the noun side, the orc side. I'm going to join the the yep. enemy group. <laughs> the yep. other group. Exactly. Uh, I see. So, so in English, all, this would be like adding li to something. So rather than quick, it becomes quickly. So you can't say quickly I, bob. That doesn't make any sense. You see, quickly bob runs. Quickly needs to be modifying a verb or adjective. So rather than li, so you definitely need to use ku. It's so easy then. So all of all of Japanese I will see. fall into one of two camps. Either your sentence is driving towards a noun, as in, in all of those relative clauses, it's driving towards a noun or it's driving towards a verb. Like yeah. in this case, it's end with a verb. Yep. I've, 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 everything right. that I do is so that I can describe the verb at the end of it. Whereas yeah. or some other to... time, everything that I do, no, no verb is in their own category. category it, I think. it is, Adjectives but like, for example, if you are... ended a sentence, for example, with um, wabishikata. Right, wabishikata. That isn't really a, a verb. Adjective. That's an adjective from wabishi. That could that could be the end of your sentence, and you could modify this with an adverb, like yoni. We saw this like in Hi. chapter one. Uh, it was a uh, misu terareta yoni wabishikata. So this right here is that we're going down to a adjective using this um, not adjective that is an adverb, which is being described by a verb. Right. Hi. But this, this all makes sense by how it's built there, though, because we have an adjective. So then we have to have an adverb, which before that was a na adjective, which is basically a noun, which then is being described by this verb, which is a relative clause. Which is going down the describe the right. So yeah, everything builds on that. Right. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure you didn't get stuck into the ah going to verb. Because it also works with adjectives. Hi. I'm going to verb. I'm going to adjectives. Makes sense. Hi. Hi. Uh, so I feel like Yeah. I I feel like I'm progressing right now because things are actually clearing up. Like all the Looking. all of the fuzzy things. Yeah, it's gone. You're drawing the borders in the little boxes. Yes. Okay, so this is kara, as in like from and because of stuff. And this is ni and wa. So these are the particles. Uh, when you have these right. three particles all together, this becomes like now that something has happened. So from that, and now we're like restricting it. So now that that has happened, blank. So that, now wa is using as a restrictor. You mentioned earlier that ga is used as a restrictor, but wa is being used as a restrictor with ni. Ni is the restrictor. Mm -hmm. for, wa is the restrictor. It's for I'm me. emphasizing. I'm emphasizing this this right. particular place. Exactly. So that's another like point of the exception rule, kind of, like not really exception, but like wa is now acting as the way ga normally does for subjects. Um. Anyway, can you read the sentence for me? 
はい。あ、um, ま、ちに、きたからには。What does this mean? So it's saying that this, at this. Okay, so it, it's. The, the point here is here is a verb. Kita. Hai. So came, Hai. came where? Machini. Came to the town. So. But all of that is being modified with this karaniwa bit. Hai. So it should so be it's more saying, having came to the town. Exactly. Perfect. That's how you can ha do that. Ha since I'm now in the ha town, having come to the town, mm -hmm. something. It's just a way to basically, we're setting the stage, basically. So I came to the stand. Now, here's some new information. In the book, they replace kita with mairimashita. These are the same verb. Mairimashita is the humble. So it means never he's talking about himself. He's not saying the duchess came. He's saying I came. But he's making sure to write the letter politely by describing himself. If some third party person came, maybe he'd use kita. So like when Bennett, when Spinet came, maybe he'd use kita there. Um, but nobody is coming, so he's going to use mighty mashita. Mighty Okay, masta. so here is our goal sentence, and that's where we're going to end for the day. Want to read this? Hai, koshite machi ni mudotte mairi mashita kara ni wa zehi. Zonchimas here saying, I think, I, I believe, I know. Yeah. Basically, it means I, it's helping to do the I want here, basically. Being like, mm. but literally, it's like, Zonchi. Hi. Zonchi in the dictionary way mean no, but here in the context, it's sort of, I come to the conclusion that. Basically, it's a way to express your want. emotions. Like, I feel might be more accurate to describe it. So, I feel that I want to do something. So, he's, he's trying to, like, really be like, uh, this is my opinion. I'm not putting this on you, right? I'm not saying you want me to become your power. I'm saying, it be, it, I, I totally would love to <laughs> ochikare ni naru, is basically what he's saying. He's kind of doing that kind of ki kiss-assing right here. Um, This guy. It's, it's perfect. I love this language, <laughs> by the way. These, yeah. The language that they use um, in this book, it's very, very useful. Oh, yeah. Same, um, same. So, ko, ko shite. Ko shite is what? This is ko, meaning this. Hai. Shite comes from shite, to do. but in the contiguous. Yeah. So to do this is basically do, d d donning this. <laughs> Having done this is kind donning of this. So in this yeah. way is what it's used for. So in this way, I machini marimashita. So it's basically the previous mm -hmm. sentence is that he heard some bad news. So kind of because of that is kind of what it's kind of being used to mean. But literally, it's Koste. in this way. Mm -hmm. Do this. Yeah. Having done this, uh, came to this town. Hi. Specifically, he uh, In this way, having having modotta, having arrived here. Having returned. Returned back to the town, yeah. Returned toward you. My mighty must. Hi. Returned Mari. back. Hi. Having returned back. Um Zehi, definitely. I want to be your power. Yep. yep. Exactly. So since I have returned back toward where you are in this city. Just like this, I really please, please, I really want to become your power. Zehi. Hi. So, yeah, that is Zahi. where we will stop.